Daniela Barbosa. I'm the General Manager for Decentralized Technologies at the Linux Foundation. I also have the honor of serving as Executive Director of LF Decentralized Trust. So LF Decentralized Trust is an umbrella of projects in the decentralized technology space. Uh, we have projects that are protocols, so DLTs. We have projects that are focused on interoperability, uh, cryptography, and decentralized identity. So really uh, projects that are driving decentralization um, across the enterprise. So Hyro fits into LF Decentralized Trust as one of our newest projects. Um, they joined uh, LFDT um, in September of 2024, um, and it was a great addition to our portfolio of projects that we have um, that are really focused on engineers who are enterprise engineers worldwide. Um, Hyro is a, a blockchain. It is Hyro is the code base that powers the Hedera network. Um, and not only did it come with really uh, fantastic code, but really a very active community of developers um, and users of Hyro already through the Hedera network. You know, I think the community certainly is one piece of it. We have a very dedicated Hyro community and the Hedera ecosystem as a whole. Um, but I think the other thing is the importance of open governance and open development that the maintainers and the contributors came in. One of the things that's really market leading about Hyro is that Hyro is the first code base for a public layer one that has been contributed to a neutral foundation. There's a lot of other layer one code bases that are openly developed and openly governed as well, but under the foundation that the network runs. And Hyro is the first, um, Hedera is the first one to do that into a neutral foundation. And I think choosing the Linux Foundation and LF Decentralized Trust as a place to do that because of our 20 plus years of experience in open sourcing some of the most important open source projects um, has really been a credit to the Hedera ecosystem. So I think one of the things that um, the Hedera ecosystem has that perhaps is different with some of our other projects is that there is a live network that runs on Hyro. Um, so many other projects maybe come into Linux Foundation Decentralized Trust in a way where they have their own production services that are separate. But Hyro is a critical part of the Hedera network. So when that transition was happening and continues to happen, it's really important to make sure that you're not losing any steps into how the Hyro code then gets implemented in the Hedera uh, network. And I think one of the things that is very impressive with the maintainers and the contributors that have come with Hyro is that these are professional engineers. These are people that understand uh, how to um, deliver code, um, how to put processes in place so that it is enterprise grade as it goes out the door. And I really look forward to you know, new projects as they come in, learning from the learnings that the Hedera ecosystem has done uh, with LF Decentralized Trust.